What's going on everybody? Core here from Core Gaming and we are back in Hearthstone. Very excited today to be bringing you Gazlo. Uh, this is the first time I'm taking a look at Gazlo really since the uh, since his big changes. Uh, I've played a few games. Uh, I don't know actually. I think it, maybe I've played one game since his change. But uh, we're going to be using one of the most popular builds on Hot Logs as of right now. Uh, though I'm going to be changing it up due to there being a, 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 a boss on this map. I have seen Gazlo solo bosses now. So because of that, uh, we are going to go for a little bit of jungling. Jungling? I think that's, I think that's what I'm talking about. So for our first talent, uh, let's see. Let's see. I really, I really, you know, I should do research before before I start the video. But whoops. Oh, by the way, the face cam is hopefully back. Uh, I am using it to record right now, uh, as per request of Ashes, who is someone who watches primarily, I think my uh, my uh, my Minecraft videos, but who knows? Maybe he watches all my videos. Uh, trying a different recording setup to get the webcam in, or the face cam, however you want to think about it. Um, but I think for our first. Talent we're going to go with uh, extra TNT. Uh, increase Explodium damage by 10% per target hit. Of course, Nova came down here with us. I don't know why. What's up, Kerrigan? Ugh, Kerrigan. I'm sorry, girl. You just stood there. I wasn't sure what to tell you. You think we can get... Oh, so close to getting her. Oh, no! Um, I have a uh, quick cast set up for a bunch of visibilities, and I did not know that. Uh, turret off, and uh, that, that's on. Sodium charge off. Yeah, I, I actually don't like that. Not too much at all. <laughs> yeah, okay. Coming back, I guess we're going to go mid. I'll let them know. I am on my way. Let's see, for the next talent it says to be taking Arc Reactor. Let's see if I agree with that. It reduces Explodium's charge cooldown by two seconds of Explodium. Hmm, interesting. Come here, Kerrigan. Thank you for standing still for me. That was very kind of you. There we go. Did she walk into that? I'm not sure this Kerrigan is entirely all there. There is a, uh, what you call it, a... Uh, 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 Oh, she's not there anymore. Dang it, man. Let's see. Mm, I think I want to buff up the turrets. Because because that... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Uh, so we're going to go with increase... Uh, basic attacks, increase uh, rocket turret duration. Yes. All about them turrets and just, you know, buff, beef, beefing up. We're going to beef up the turrets as much as we can. Uh, they also featured uh, Gazlo this week on Hots. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Lords of the Storm. Lords of the Storm. One of the best uh, Hots podcasts around, in my opinion. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, they, uh, hopefully, I'll learn something from them. Let's scrap that. So I'm sure you figured out by now. Our Q ability is something called... Uh, Rocket turret, and all it does is it puts turrets down. And our W ability, you've seen me cast it a few times. It is death laser, uh, and then our E ability is explodium charge. All of which seem pretty self-explanatory to me. Um, so what the, I mean, what they do is really is you know that our Q drops down a little turret, our W fires a death laser, and our uh, our our E ability drops down an ex a bomb a bomb basically an explodium charge. There we go, doing the work with the explodium charges. Uh, now, heavy. one thing you got to be careful about when you're playing Gazlo is he is indeed a melee. He is a he is not a ranged uh, specialist. He is a specialist who drops down. He's very good at pushing lanes. He is he's very good at doing a lot of things. He can be good at team fights depending on how you build him. But you must remember. He is he is melee. Yeah, so baby. when you right click on something to go and attack it, you're gonna be you're gonna be walking up to it and meleeing it. Like right now, I keep getting in range of this turret on accident. Oh, time to get out! Time to get out. We're gonna beat down this turret though. Now, our, uh, we took a talent that uh, means when we basic attack, like when I'm auto attacking things, our turret our turrets stay up longer. So 
uh, basic attacking a wall can totally be beneficial. For the next talent, uh, this thing, this guide recommends taking engine gunk. Engine gunk rocket turret slows enemies. Uh, that can that can be beneficial in terms of uh, uh, team fights and just things like that. But I'm gonna go for the cleave damage in terms of pushing lanes and also, I mean, that, uh, doing more damage can only be good. So uh, we're rocket turrets attack up to two additional enemies for for 50% damage. So basically, it's just gonna cleave. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to throw down an Explodium Charge right here because I think they're about to be running in. Drop down a turret as well. Now, our our, our, our E that time, our Explodium Charge, did not actually uh, hit anybody. But what it did was it zoned them out. So they saw it and then they, they decided to go a different route. They decided not to come in because they knew that Explodium Charge was down. Coming back again, it looks like they're about walking in. So I dropped the Explodium Charge. Again, they decided to back out. I'm gonna drop a turret right in the right in the bushes here. In the bush. Come back. Nope. Okay, we'll just hit the minions then. Boom. Yeah, baby. Drop down another turret here. Gonna get an explodium charge down. This should clear a lot of the minions. Don't need that wallet anymore, do you? Oh, three levels ahead of it looks like we're doing pretty well. Uh, I do want to go for more camps, I think. So for our level for our level no ten ultimate, we are gonna go with uh, Robo Goblin, empower basic attacks to non-heroes, and control rocket turrets. So, uh, basic attack, basic attacks deal 150% damage to non-heroes. We're gonna drop down turret and another turret, and we're gonna get to work on these guys. Oh, I, I suppose I should take that talent for the extra damage to non-heroes. Perfect. We're gonna be going for trying to clear out these both these bottom waves real quick. Uh, one thing I believe was added with the the big the big Robo Goblin changes was the ability to uh, uh, choose which targets your turret hits. So I can hit R and tell my turrets which target to hit. Now right now there's only one target to hit, but still a very cool change. Sorry, Levi. Sorry, girl. Uh, seems our buddies up here are taking this camp. I suppose I may as well come up to help them. Uh, considering, I don't know, Lily, I guess, is good at taking camps. What's up, Kerrigan? Death laser you? I'm really not good at the whole death laser uh, on this guy because I, I, I'm i more... His other abilities are so much more fun, in my opinion. Death laser kind of just seems like uh, we should put something here. So let's put something here. So they put something there. <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Two minutes on that. Like I said in the beginning, uh, when I decided I was going to go for this build, I have seen, I have seen people uh, use Gaslow to solo bosses. Now that is going to be my my goal here at some point. Is I want to I want to try and solo the boss. Uh, I do want to wait until I get the rest of my talents. So uh, we're going to increase our our turret our turret charges to three. So we're going to be able to have three up at one time. Uh, possibly four even, I think, with uh, with the duration increases. And then for level 16, uh, I want to go with uh, 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 yeah, Superior baby. Schematics, which increases the turret damage. Whoops, whoops, what am I doing? Uh, increases the turret damage when you're in range of them. So first things first, I'm going to drop down a turret right here. Staying in range of it. Pop out the Death Laser. Grind in gear. We did just hit level 30. Oh, oh, bad things are happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I got no escape. Yeah, yeah, that was my bad. Wow, look at that skin. That's interesting. Uh, we did hit level 13, so we're gonna pick up maximum turrets, increasing their charges to three. This one's still good, guys. We can get it. Although, Nazibro is just. How many? So we got Nova, Nazibo, me, Lili, and Chromie. Lili, Nazibo, me. Are all really good at lane pushing, especially if Lily went for damage. I'm not sure though. She's only got 10k healing, but let's see what she's doing. Lily, yeah, she increased her mass Activate vortex quite this. a bit. I'm going. You have uh, level 14. I want to wait till level 15. Once we hit level 15, I'm definitely gonna try and take out that boss. But these camps should be coming up in a second. Oh, Nizibo! Dang. I'm gonna try and sneak up here. We know Tracer is right there. I'm gonna wait just a second. Right here, give her time to leave, and I'm gonna sneak in. I'll see if they're there first, I suppose. Looks like they are not. Dropping down the turrets. Perfect. We're gonna tell our turrets to all attack at the same time. Uh oh. 
Get out of here. I hit her. Can we get this last one quick? Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. I don't care. I don't care, Chromie. <laughs> oh, that was great. I just really wanted to sneak in there and make sure we got that camp. I'm gonna be... Hopefully... Shoot. Shoot. Lily brought them right to me. I should have been in the bush, though. The bush. I dropped down an explodium charge. Ooh, I'll stay in range of healing. That's cool. Yeah, I'm good with that. Let's see, this camp's got another minute on it, so we can come down here and get these camps. After we get these two bottom camps here, I'd be willing to bet that we should be able to... Oh, no! What is going on here? There's another Gaslo! And now he's a dead zo. That, was, that wasn't very good, I'm sorry. Take care of these quick. Perfect. Uh, get out of here. Now, did they come over here? I think they might have. Yeah, it looks like it. This Kerrigan's really not being a team player. How many times has she died? Their Kerrigan... Oh, no. Eight times! My goodness gracious. Yeah, she definitely just... It looks like she's AFK playing. Uh, low... We're going to increase our turret damage with this one. So, like I said, as long as we're in range... As long as we're in attack range... Oh, I didn't... I thought that would be here. As long as we're in attack range with our turrets they will deal 25% more damage. So, pretty awesome. Works out great for going for bosses or camps, because we obviously are going to stay in range. So, well, my team goes up there to try and get the objective, theoretically, hopefully. That's what one would expect. I'm going to sneak down here, drop my turrets down, and see if we can't take out this boss solo. I mean, it looks like they're obviously doing fine. No one is going to try and uh, uh, object to me doing this, I'm sure. So we're going to drop down all of our turrets. Here comes an Explodium Charge. Going to hit R, tell our turrets to attack. Perfect. Going to get out of here. Alright, I've made a grave mistake in putting my turrets all in uh, in one in one location. Oh, that one's not going to work. Yep, that didn't work. Is that an enemy? No, oh, that's a friendly. Oh, now i got to get out. Okay, I made mistakes. I think the level 1 talent uh, that we should have taken might have been uh, Scrap causes abilities to cool times four times as fast. I probably should have gone for that. But either way, I, I think I could have had it had I planned a little bit better. But that still works just fine. So we got boss pushing now. They, they are down one here. I'm going to come up here and get this camp and just keep doing Gazlo type things. Again, I don't expect anyone to object because we are doing fairly well. There we go. Tell my turrets to attack that target. And now that target. Get another turret down. Now attack that target. So it's so cool that you can tell it exactly who to attack. I am going to hearth. Get my mana back. Get my health back. And then, uh, well, look at that bottom lane. Because they don't seem to care to stop it. I am going to go top. Try and stop that big wave push and help out with this team fight as best I can. Tracer exiting the fight. There we go. Perfect. Now, as we go along here, we are... We're, I'm, I'm trapped by my own guy. Uh, as we go along, I, I, I build turrets and then I tear them down right away. So that they... Well, I'm not even sure what I get back, honestly. Destroyed turrets. Uh, destroy turrets or rackets. Collecting scrap restores 30 mana and causes your abilities to recharge three times as fast over three seconds. It's pretty cool. So getting scraps still will help. For sure. Oh, those zombies. Looks like the enemy team is here to play. It's gonna stay in range of my, of my turrets, like I've been saying. Alright. Get rid of two of them quick here. And this one. I suppose I should pick up the scrap on the ground. Things seem to be going pretty well here. Get that Lily. Get the Lily. There we go. Good stuff. And now we're just going to back out now that we've taken out another turret. Still two... Oh, oh except we got a healing thing up. We are still two levels ahead. Come here! <laughs> Take out these turrets because they're too far behind. And you grab their scrap. I think we're even going to take this one out. And honestly, I'm just going to put down turrets in range of the 
in range of the core, and I think we're just going to attack the core. Oops, there we go. Okay, all right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out! <laughs> Still, it was pretty close. I mean, we did we did do a lot of work there. Uh, as you can see, in, in terms of statistics, I have died a lot more than anyone else on my team. Well, okay, a lot more than Nazebo, Nova, and Lili. Only one more than Chromie. Uh, I've been going more so for camps. That's why my siege damage is a little low. I do not believe siege damage is tracked in, through killing camps. Um... But everything I'm doing is completely revolving around the turrets. I don't even think I am maximizing, you know, what I could be doing because I'm I'm I, I'm I'm very new. I'm, I wouldn't say new, I guess. I'm new to this Gazlo, that's for sure. Uh, I got Gazlo to level five for the 500 gold long, long time ago. He is definitely a lot of fun. Look at all these traps sitting around. Uh, for level 20, I believe we are going to go with Super Robo Mecha Lord. Basic attacks deal 150% bonus damage to heroes. But, rocket turret, oh yeah, rocket, yeah, yeah, okay. Fire my lasers, did we res? Uh, there we res, okay. So, uh, firing my lasers. Firing death laser causes all of your rocket turrets to fire death laser of their of their own at, or that deals 300 damage. I'm, I'm assuming it'll all, they'll all like fire at the same direction. Uh, we're gonna go mid here, clear out this minion wave. Yeah. And then start pushing along this lane so that we can get all three of our lanes pushing really well. There we go. Now all these turrets need to get picked up because we are moving on. Um, activate scrap. Activate to create scrap around you. That's interesting. I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling that. I think we are just going to go for Mecha Lord. Is, is Kerrigan going to come play? Kerrigan's not going to come play. Tracer going to come play? Tracer wants to play. Whoops. That was the wrong ability. I'm exiting. I'm out. Yeah. Yep. Three people top lane right now. Seems like a great idea. I really don't care. It's whatever. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. I, I am. Let's see. Second? I'm second on, on, on uh, hero damage. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice before. Also second on uh, XP contribution, but it's not all about the statistics. It's all about the game and whether or not we win. And obviously, at this point, I think we're definitely going to win. Uh, level 20. I think maybe I can get this boss now by myself. That's what I'm thinking. These minions are definitely going to take out this keep right now. Should take maybe a little sneeze like... And there it goes, just like that. So, they have no keeps left. We've got camps pushing. They have a camp pushing bottom lane, but looks like Lili, are Lili is going to put an end to that. Uh, danger. I think they might be trying to take that, that boss right now. So, we should defend. We should defend from it. We should go get them. Uh, you miss me? Yeah, yep, look at that. They're there. We can definitely take them out. The light of the sun grows within the I'm coming. I'm coming. They shall bask where am I? That's where I am. I'm almost there. Not letting them have it, that's for sure. There we go. Dropping turrets. Dropping more turrets. I'm just going to start tanking this thing. Oh, I'm taking too much damage. But I'm going to cap it. I capped it. I capped it. I'm out. I'm out. There goes Tracer, too. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? I'll take healing. Cool. Sounds great to me. I'm gonna go get another camp though. Why not? That was supposed to be the tough one. Yes. Yes, Chromie, it was. It's definitely supposed to be the tough one. Alright, uh, let's attack this one. Take it out quick. Yeah, Gazlo, he's like, I, to me, he feels like the ultimate, uh, the ultimate jungler because he, he takes out these camps like they are bread and butter to him. Uh, 30 seconds. 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Minute. Oh, this is it. GG! GG. Great game. Gazlo is a ton of fun. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. And if you'd like to support this channel a little further, you can head on over to patreon.com slash coregaming21. All right. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time.